So like you know, I saw your like story. Like I guess when you are young, a bit like teenage, I saw your body is not really right now situation like a bit thin, and you know you look like a boy. And right now you look muscular, and you have like success in conversation. Also like your boxing skill is really good, and your body is like you're really really good, and like look muscular. <laughs> like what's that change you? You know, yeah,、um, to be a boy to a really man. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Well. You know what? I I love talking about boxing. So that、uh, thanks for the、uh-huh. question. And yeah, yeah. When I was growing up, I wasn't really a boxing fan. I only it was it was a late passion. Let's say something that I got to know later in my life. Let's say I mean I'm only thirty. <laughs> I can't really say later in my life, but you know, still later in my late twenties. Let's say in my late twenties. If if by the way, if I had been a boxing fan. When I was in my late twenties, I would have been a boxer now. I, I I just love it so much. I think so. The one guy who made me fall in love with boxing is Manny Pacquiao, a Filipino boxer,、uh, and an, an unbelievable fighter. Um. So growing up, you know, talking about a little bit about my past. Um. At sixteen, I think I was already working hard with my my dad. My dad is you know a workaholic, so he always. He's a pastor. I mean, he was a pastor, and he technically he's he's still a pastor, a Christian minister.、Uh, but you know, in his free times,、uh, which are the, the weekdays, of course, we would work in in the woods always, all the time in the woods. You know, we would spend、uh, like three, four nights a week in, in the woods, and we would work with you know woods. So I was pretty strong since.、Uh, Eighteen, nineteen. By eighteen, nineteen, I was pretty strong, but I didn't have any interest or any knowledge about boxing until I was twenty-one or so. Because that's, I, I think, the first year, the first time I really fell in love with boxing was in two thousand fourteen or fifteen. I think fifteen, when Pacquiao fought Mayweather. That's that's the time when I was serious. I was beginning to be serious about serious about boxing. Um, so after that, I began training.、Uh, I I think it's my, you know, I don't want to sound big here, but I think it's in my instinct. I'm instinctively, uh, athletic or physically gifted, let's say, but not in other areas, but in in, you know, fighting aspect, let's say, in fighting aspect. I'm I'm not a fighter, and I I can't really fight. I mean, I'm not even an amateur. Boxer, but、uh, I'm naturally athletic. Let's say pretty strong, big shoulders <laughs> for my size and for my height, and、uh, it also gave me a lot of confidence. You know, by the way, you know, speaking English is one thing, and you know, being strong and being、uh, fit, let's say, also gave me a lot of confidence. I was I was really really a confident guy, but you know, not a boastful. Arrogant guy, of course. I mean, I was a maniac. Actually, I was a maniac. I was running miles ev- almost every day. I don't know. I didn't know what to do, but I just love it. So, if I had been, I had had this knowledge that I have now, like ten、yeah. years ago, let's say, I would have been a fighter for sure. No problem.、Uh, no question. No oh,、doubt. really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no question.、Yeah. No question. But before age sixteen, let's say I wasn't really a sporty guy. I didn't do any sports when I was a teenager. Up until sixteen, age sixteen or seventeen, I didn't do anything physical. Oh,、uh, I didn't even play football. Chin low. Oh,、uh, I was a home guy. You know, I was a mommy guy. So my mom loved me so much.、Uh, so、I was yeah always at、uh, home being this Jacob Jacob guy, nice guy at home. I end up being, you know, having a big belly. <laughs> I ended、uh, I up、see. having a big belly when I was like fourteen、uh, or fifteen.、Um, but yeah,、uh, it changed me. Boxing changed me a lot, and I'm not even a boxer. I'm not even an amateur fighter. But loving it make makes me, you know, when you love it, it makes you act right.、Uh, <laughs> love is active. It's not passive, I should say. So when you love something, when you're passionate about something. It it makes you act right. So I pick up some training either by myself or you know in in the gym, and yet I'm 
yeah, it, it has helped me a lot. And there were a lot of times when I felt depressed. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to use the word depression, but I, yeah, I have to be real. I have to be honest. Especially in the late twenty twenties, I was under a lot of pressure. Let's just call pressure and stress. So boxing was the thing that got me going. Yeah, seriously. And like I said, I'm not even a boxer. I wasn't even a boxer, but I would go to the gym almost every day. And there is, you know, in Yangon, uh, back where I live in Yangon, that there is a gym. There is uh -huh. a small gym, actually. It's a fitness gym, actually. It's not even yeah. a martial arts gym. So they have this heavy bag, small heavy bag, and I would go there and everything I do is just punch the heavy bag. Sometimes I would lift, you know, small weights, no, not heavy weights. And, you know, just releasing my anger or all the stress that I have on the heavy bag with, you know, every strength that I have, every power that I can generate from myself. Uh, bro, uh, I can only, I don't know about other people, but when I do it, it helps me a lot. You know, it really yeah, yeah, is yeah. stress out of me. Uh, so that that was boxing was a big a big help in those um, stressful times. I don't know what the stress where the stress was coming from, but mm -hmm. in those like twenty twenties, oh, it was it was a hard those, those were hard years for me. But luckily, uh, I got over them, and now here we are. Yeah, but boxing was a big deal for me. Yeah.